Once again, welcome. This is Sean Taggart here from Freestyle Solutions. Uh, thank you for joining us for this quick video in regards to the MOM shipping service and how it affects your UPS link workflow, which is next to none. We're going to go into the Packers workstation as well as batch processing. I'm going to hand it over to Ian Oano, our product uh, manager, and he's going to actually show you the two uh, workflows and how little it changes. Ian, over to you. Let's get started. Thank you, Sean. So, like Sean said, there's not much different in the workflow, so we're going to go right into batch processing. As you're used to, with uh, UPS Link, Mom will be able to print the labels within the system via the L form, so that's what we're showing today. So, we have two orders ready to process. I'm going to go ahead and process those orders. First, we get our pick ticket. Um, it's actually going to print this out. And we say yes to that. Now we get our labels here at this point. This is calling out to Shippo to get the labels. I'll give you a preview of that once the label gets back. So here, you can actually view this. You can see this is a, a sample label that we generated via Shippo. So you can see it's going to John Snow uh, on Alaska. And we're going to go ahead and print that to a file for us. And we're going to say yes to that. And if you have any extra labels, we do print the box label CODs on the, as well on the Eltron 4x6. So you can also see those labels over here. So we have a sample for USPS here for Allen. So as you print the labels, and if you, you know, depending on how you set up in MOM, you can print your extra labels to the Eltron 4x6, similar to what you guys are doing with UPS Link now. Go ahead and print those again. And say yes. Now the main difference really is the end of day. So you can see it's going to say where the manif manifest will be printed. And the manifest is generated as the labels are printed via Shippo. So the manifest is no longer printed in MOM, so it's no longer necessary. So you just simply click yes here. And that completes the order workflow for the batch processing. So put this back. We're going to go into Packers Workstation next. So here we are in our Packers Workstation. So we're going to look at our order. So we're going to go ahead and scan and pack. You can see the process is similar to UPS Link. You would move your product from left to right. So this is product here. Now I can produce my packing slip. Clicking that. This will also generate the label for me, uh, similar to if you have the L form. So I'm going to view that again. Uh, same thing that we, we saw previously in batch, but you can see the label is generated. Um, after that's generated, you can obviously print that. I'm going to save this in my system. And now you have a label for that. And it would be business as usual, depending on how you process the package portion. Either you continue in batch or you continue printing the labels here. But you would go ahead and close this and you move on to the next order to, that needs to be processed through package workstation. But again, the workflow is very similar to what you're used to with UPS Link. Now back to Sean. Thanks, Ian, for showing us the Packers Workstation and batch order processing um, using the MOM shipping service in Freestyle MOM. So as you can see here, very next to none difference between what you were doing now with UPS Link and what you're going to be doing with um, the MOM shipping service. One minor detail, um, the minor changes, and this is a benefit for you, once again, is the fact that the manifest gets updated per label generated. So that way you don't have to do it in the day um, and upload it to UPS Shippo takes care of it per the label generated. If you have any other questions, you can reach out to your uh, solution specialist or just drop a line to the support team. They'll be more than happy to answer your questions in regards to this. Once again, that was Ian Alano. I'm Sean Taggart. Thanks for joining us.